what's up Wes here thanks for tuning in to my first update video um, I've never done a channel update video before but I have some things I need to discuss so I figured I would go ahead and do this now plus people sent me some stuff that I want to open so I figured I'd do it all in one shot now um, I do want to warn you that I'm on two hours of sleep so I'm really loopy I'm really out of it so yeah Anyway, first thing I got here was sent to me by Mr. Utah Punk, whose YouTube channel is Rama with a View, and he also has a Twitch channel where he plays um, a lot of more role-playing adventure type games. Lately, he's been into the E series, and he's been hooked on that that series like crack. So make sure to check him out. I will leave links to both uh, the Twitch and YouTube channels in the description below. And let's see what we got here. I'm so out there, let me tell you. Super Famicom game. <laughs> That's awesome. It's the Japanese version of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you know that Mike Tendo and I just recently hosted a Super Ghouls and Ghosts Challenge. And um, Mr. Utah Punk actually participated in the challenge. And he decided to send me this game, I don't know, I guess as a thank you for, you know, doing something for the community, whatever, but I'm really grateful for this because ever since that challenge, I love this game now, uh, more so than I ever have. So I definitely want to check out the Japanese version, see if there's any differences. I've never played it, never seen it before, so I'm really looking forward to playing this. My god, it has awesome cover artwork. God, it just beats the shit out of the artwork that we got here in the States. Look at that. That's badass. Thanks a lot, dude. I really appreciate it. I am going to play this tonight for sure. Ugh. As you can see, it's summertime, so I'm sweating my balls off here. My glasses keep sliding down. And I learned my lesson last time I ordered stuff. I didn't wear my glasses, and I can barely read the letter that I got. So I'm wearing them this time. Because I got another package here from my boy Rick. Uh, we got a love for metal and video games. And it's funny how with Mr. Utah Punk and Rick here that metalheads and punks were brought together by video games. That's that's fucking awesome. So, let's see what we got here. I have no idea what's in this box. All right, I'm checking for a letter first because last time I saw it last, so here we go. All right, what's up, Wes? Here's the package I promised with the Walking Dead and It stuff. Oh, man. Awesome. I threw in a few extra things. I bought an extra copy of the Municipal Waste for you so you can rock out, too. Aw, oh, dude, that is... Oh, man. I threw in a few CDRs you may enjoy. Keep up the great work on the channel and let me know what you think of the music I sent. Dude. That, that's so fucking awesome. Well, let's see what we got. I'm really excited now. Fuck yeah. He, he knows I love DRI. And I can't believe I actually don't already own this beanie because I love DRI. That is badass. And I would put it on right now, but I'm so freaking sweaty, I don't want to get this thing all gross, so. Awesome, DRI. Check this out. Walking Dead. Rick Grimes. Fucking awesome, man. I love Walking Dead. I love action figures. I mean, just check this out. I got the governor from the uh, graphic novel. 
so hell yeah, dude. I'm not taking this out of the package. No. That's awesome. Another figure to add to my collection. What the hell is this? Turn back now, custom balloon. Ah, oh, it. Turn back now. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to that movie. It is my third all-time favorite book ever. I've read it several times. It's awesome. So I'm really looking forward to the movie. That made-for-TV movie just didn't do it justice. Um, even though I still like it. I think it's good. But it was made for TV. I mean, you know, they had to leave all kinds of stuff out. Like the uh, gangbang towards the end. This is awesome. Pennywise, they float. Kind of like the uh, Nirvana Nevermind um, album artwork. That is freaking sweet. I love it, man. I love it. Check that out, dude. It's just, ooh, that's awesome. It's like some cross hatching. That's like my favorite style of art. That's how I like to draw. Cross hatching. Um, Pennywise picture, dude. That's awesome. Obviously, it looks like the Tim Curry version from the um, the mini series, but that's that's badass. That's badass. Oh yeah, dude, you have no idea how grateful I am for this. I was so bummed. It was, I I just don't have the money to spend on music right now, and I was so bummed I couldn't get the new Municipal Waste. Dude, Rick, you were the you were the shit, dude. You were awesome. This is badass, dude. I can't wait to listen to this. I, I, awesome, dude. I mean, listen to some of these uh, these tongue-in-cheek track names. <laughs> Herb and Discipline. <laughs> That's an odd um, a nod to uh, Biohazard there. Shrednecks. Slime and Punishment. I mean, that's the name of the album. That's badass, dude. Thank you so much, man. This this is really awesome. I wasn't expecting this. So, thanks a lot, dude. What else we got here? Soundgarden. Super Unknown Remastered. Nice, because I have the original, obviously. I've, I've owned it since I was 15. Um, since it came out. I, I was a big fan of Bad Motor Finger, so I think I even got this on the release date uh, way back in what was it? I'm going to say it was 94 because this actually has the remastered date on it but this is a remastered version so I'm definitely curious to see how this one sounds compared to the original fucking awesome dude and rest in peace Chris Cornell damn shame that uh, he's gone and some CDRs, and let's see what we got here. Tankard, The Meaning of Life. Nice. Haven't heard those guys yet, so. Immortal Volume 2, I don't know what that is either. And Tankard B-Day. But, since we have very similar tastes in music, I can just about guarantee that I will like this stuff. So, I will definitely check this out, let you know what I think of it. Um, Rick, you're the man, dude. This is badass stuff. It's like Christmas. Christmas in June. Thanks a lot, dude. I... You didn't have to, you didn't have to do all that stuff, man. It's, I really, really appreciate it. It's just beyond awesome. All right, man, I'm a little excited now. I got so much great stuff. So, okay, let me settle it down now to, to cover some of the update stuff. Um, okay, I'm moving soon. So I got to start packing all this shit up, which means I don't have a whole lot of time to be making videos right now. I'm still going to try to get some stuff out, but it's going to be a little sporadic. It's not going to be as consistent as I have been, where I usually release something at least every two weeks. Um, 
I apologize, but I mean, what can I do? Each video takes me anywhere between like 20 to 50 hours to make. So, you know, I mean, I only have so much time and I really got to start packing. I haven't even really started. So just a heads up that, you know, you may not see videos coming out as consistently as I have before for maybe a, a month or two. Um, depends on how long it takes me to move, get set up in my new place, all that good shit. So, thanks for understanding. Alright, and remember a while ago when I wanted everyone's top 10 NES title screen songs because I was going to get everyone's votes uh, to compile a top 10 NES title screen video? Well, that's finally in motion. I'm finally getting that off the ground. I know what the games are now. Um, all I need to do now is just round up one YouTuber per game uh, so we can compile it all together and then I can put it together and release it. So that's finally in motion. We're finally doing that. Um, so don't worry, I didn't forget about it. I know I asked you like six or seven months ago what your favorite uh, title screen music was. Um, so don't worry, it's getting done. So just stay tuned for that. And last but not least, um, I'm looking to change the name of the channel. Now, the Westapo name was meant to be temporary. Um, I didn't intend for that to be the name of the channel. I just, I'm not good at coming up with names, like band names, um, titles. I'm just not good at it. So, I'm leaning towards changing my channel name to Nefarious Wes um, for a couple of reasons. Reason number one is that I want to keep the same logo. It's an homage to my metal roots. So, I want to keep that the same, plus I really like it. Um, and second is that I, I've just always been into, like, evil stuff. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I always liked monsters and um, just nasty stuff like that. Um, I was always attracted to evil. When I was a kid, I always liked the bad guys. I always wanted to get the bad guy action figures first. Like, with G.I. Joe, my very first G.I. Joe was Destro. And then, um... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady were my favorite characters uh, from the Ninja Turtles. And then when I was 12, I started reading Stephen King, and I, mean, I just about read every single one of his books. I, I love Stephen King. So I'm really attracted to that type of thing. I, I'm really fascinated with, like, serial killers and just really macabre shit like that. So Nefarious West just... It, it's me. And that's kind of why I, I like it. I want to go with it. But I'm also going to ask you guys for some suggestions. Um, just keep in mind that I want to keep the name Wes in the title uh, because I prefer to go by Wes. I'm not really one for nicknames. Like, nicknames are good for other people, but for me, I just like to be addressed as Wes. So I'm leaning towards Nefarious Wes, but if you can come up with something else, something better, that um, includes the name Wes in it, then just let me know, because if there's something better out there, I'll use it. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm leaning towards Nefarious Wes, and I would like to change the channel name probably um, by the time I hit 2,000 subs. So just let me know if you think of anything. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, one last thing. Um, I have a new Battletoads challenge out and I kind of want to do this as a bi-monthly thing um, I thought that the Super Ghouls and Ghosts challenge was pretty successful that Mike Tendo and I hosted um, so I kind of want to keep that thing rolling and I was thinking about doing this like every other month um, having a challenge where you get a whole month to practice to, to get really good at it and submit your runs so Battletoads is the challenge um, the current challenge right now so what I'll do is I'll leave a link to that video explaining the rules in the description below. Um, not to mention an end card at the end of the video. So yeah, if you want to participate in that, that would be freaking awesome. So anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in to my long update video and listening to my sleep depraved ranting and nonsense. Um, I can barely keep track of what I'm talking as. Bleh. 
I can barely keep track of what I'm saying as I go along. As you can see, I'm totally out there. Uh, but thanks a lot, everyone, for um, your support, for sticking by. Huge thank you to Utah Punk and to Rick for sending all the goodies. Um, it feels like Christmas today, and I am like really excited to, to play that uh, new game and listen to some new music. So, thanks a lot, guys. And thank all of you for watching. Thank you all for your support. If you want to send me stuff, I'm not going to argue with you. you know, of course, you don't have to, um, but it's pretty awesome. So, whatever. Anyway, I will catch everybody later.